Hi, welcome to my channel and podcast. Y'all, there is so much going on in the world. God is just exposing so many things and revealing so many things to us. If you are a reader of the Bible, you can see a lot of things that are on unfolding or that could be unfolding. A lot of people are concerned about the vaccination and um, how the government, there's whispers of the government, you know, mandating everyone to have this vaccination. And people are concerned about that. Or you can't do X, Y, Z. And also, uh, the, you know, people are uprising in other countries because of this. And then there's whispers about China um, coming up with a... Um, digital currency where you know they can get everyone's information all that you do because you you're using this digital currency it's rumored that you know this may become the way of the world in order to deal with them and it you know it may take over the dollar and so it'll be the way of the world and they have all your information and if you don't do what they say they can cut you off from buying, selling, or trading. And, you know, so I pray against that in Jesus' name. But, you know, um, since we have heard of the mark of the beast, um, you know, people are associating that with that, and it could very well be. I don't know. Uh, God hasn't revealed that to me. But that's some, it, it is concerning if that, is something that's to come about. It's definitely something to be prayed about. And so, um, you know, just so many things going on, all the turmoil going on in the Middle East, you know, um, the Taliban rising up against Afghanistan and, you know, things that's going on in Israel. And it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Things that are going on in America is a lot inflation and everything so you may be feeling a little discouraged or you may be feeling a little afraid during these times and that is why i wanted to do a fearless friday because i wanted to just read scripture and just encourage you to dive into scripture on being courageous and how the lord is here for us and he's never going to leave us and never forsake us and he is the ultimate entity he is the all-powerful god the all-knowing god and he can do anything that he wants and he can protect anyone that he wants and shield anyone that he's he wants so with that being said i'm just going to go through some scripture and just read some verses and uh, passage of scripture and hope that this encourages you and help you to stand strong during these days so the first one i'm going to read is joshua 1 9 this is my command be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go deuteronomy 31 6 so be strong and courageous do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will never, neither fail you nor abandon you. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Be on God. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Psalm 27, 14 says, Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Deuteronomy 31.8 Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will never fail you or abandon you. 1 Chronicles 28.20 Then David continued, Be strong and courageous, and do not and do the work don't be afraid or discouraged for the lord god my god is with you he will not fail you or forsake you he will see to it 
that all the work related to the, and that this cuts off for some reason, but he's talking about them building a temple and um, that God is going to see them through it. And that's an encouragement for us. Whatever God has given us to do, whatever our purpose is, he's going to see you through it. He's not going to leave you. And he has given you all that you need to do it, to go forth in it, to walk in it. So if he's told you to do something, just do it courageously. And Joshua 1, 7 says, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey, obey all the instructions Moses gave to you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. And the instruction that Moses were given were instructions from the Lord. 1 Chronicles 22, 13. For you will be successful if you carefully obey the decrees and regulations of the Lord gave, that the Lord gave to Israel through Moses. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, afraid or lose heart. And y'all, I could go on and on and on and on, but I just wanted to give some of you some uh, courage, some inspiration this morning. I'm just scrolling down on my tablet through, through the scriptures and it goes on and on about being courageous and not fearing and just putting your trust and your faith in the Lord because he is with you and there's no nothing more powerful than God. The power belongs to God. There's nothing too hard for God. Even through all this turmoil, God can calm all this stuff down if he wants. But it may be something that we have to walk through. It may be part, it's definitely part of his plan. All of this stuff that's going on, you know God has a plan for it. And it's going to work out for our good. And it could be just to um, make people run to Christ. Because they don't know what to do. All of this turmoil is going on. And it will drive a lot of people to Christ. So he has his purpose in it, and I thank him for it, but I do pray for it, and I pray for protection of the saints, you know, because things are getting bad for us, things are getting bad for our churches, and so I pray protection over the saint, and I pray that whatever God has given you or spoken to you, that you will um, stand up and walk in it in Jesus' name. So uh, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this has been a help to someone. If you want more of the scripture about being courageous and how love casts out fear, it's in the word of God. And you can just go and search it and all the scriptures will come up and just, just um, bombard, just drench your heart in it drench your heart in it over and over and over and i tell you once you got your your heart and your spirit and your soul drenched in these scriptures you're not going to have a problem with being fearful you're not going to have that problem you're going to walk in courage you're going to walk strongly because you're going to have confidence in the lord because you have that word. That word has solidified your courage. And so um, I just wanted to have a fearless Friday. And because there's so much stuff that's going on, y'all. You guys see it. You guys hear it. Um, and, and you may even try to stay away. I know I don't watch the regular news because it's so negative. Um, I just listen to bits and pieces and I watch my Christian programming sometimes, and that's where I find out a lot of things that's going on around the world. And um, But be encouraged, y'all. Stay encouraged. Know that your God, know that our God is with you. If you're a child of Jesus, if I mean a brother or si sister of Jesus Christ, if you are a child of God, he is walking with you every step 
of the way. So do not be afraid. Have a fearless Friday, y'all. Bye.